peace, my brothers, peace, my sisters, glory, glory to the great God of the heavens and the earth, for he is the only one that is worthy. I hope in this day that his peace finds you. I hope that his great rest takes over you, overtakes you in your day. I hope that his mercy ties to your very feet. So it won't be so hard for you in this day, my brother. So it won't be so hard for you in this day, my sister. Glory, glory to the great God of the heavens and the earth, for he is the only one who is worthy. Hallelujah, family. Just by me saying that to put a smile on your face for this day for you to know that you are not alone in this great battle that you were facing in your own personal life with all the things that you were dealing with okay the spiritual topic for this this sermon this morning time i'm gonna make it real short and real simple because when god gives me a message i just he give me the message but it's on the spirit to use my lips to be able to profess these things out of my heart and obviously it's a topic in this day that a lot of people don't know about when you when you look at the word of god there's cursings and there's blessings but it's a certain specific way you have to go about it to claim your reward you have to family and the word for this morning time is power a lot of people in this world have so much power but they just don't know how to use it. They don't know what it is. A lot of our brothers and sisters out in this world have been taught to go against the grain. They have been taught to go against God. They have been taught to go against the way to receive the blessings, family. And it's a sad thing because a lot of, a lot of your brothers and sisters out here in this world, they do not wanna have to give in to something that is good. They don't want to put somebody above them and put themselves beneath. But that's the whole point of being humble, family. It is, family. I can I can practice being humble and I can practice and I can show forth love to almost anyone. There's a, a lot of different like a lot of different people I have to learn how to because it's like it's harder for me to give love to a younger person. I can give them love, I can honor them and respect them, but not on the same level as how I treat your grandmother, the same way I treat your uncles and your grandfather. So the love, family, the love that it's easier for me to give them love like that because they're my elders and I feel that anybody beneath me in age that I should be receiving that same respect and that same honor. So it's a little bit harder, but I'm working on these things. Now, we all know, family, we all know that it's two things that God loves the most, family, in your life, family. He loves your fear, family. He wants it, family. You wake up early in the morning time, he starts sniffing around, family. He do, family, he do. I'm, I'm using these things as metaphors, but it's still the same. He start looking in on you to see what you're doing. And that fear, family, he got to see it from you. Your enemies, family, he wants them, family. I don't know why for the life of me, all my brothers and sisters, they can take they power in their own hands and they feel as if they can overcome these obstacles and tasks and adversaries and enemies all by themselves. But it goes back into the way that you have to go about it to receive the blessing. And a lot of people, they don't want to humble themselves, family. They don't. So if they can't humble themselves, how would they be able to go to the rest of the terms of the contract of the blessing that they was going to receive if family, if they was willing to do it in the in the format, in the way that God wants them to do it now? God, he wants your enemies, family. He want them. But at the same time, a lot of our brothers and sisters, they take the matter into their own hands and they go out there and they do something foolish and calamity is bestowed. It's brought upon them, family, just on their disobedience of them not wanting to, to render their problems of their enemies, of their adversaries until our Lord. I don't know why people feel as if they could come up with a better plan besides from what your God can do to certain people. Now, it is written 
Okay, you already know he wants your fear. He wants your love, family. He wants all your problems. He wants your enemies. He he wants that, family. He don't want you to take it upon yourself by the uh, the sweat of your brow and the labor of your hands to go out there and exact any judgment on your enemies at all. My enemies, family, they check in on me. I don't know what God is doing to him, family. He be doing horrible things to my enemies all the time, family. I'm not going to take matters into my own hands unless... And well, how can I say it? If I'm put in a position to where I have to defend, then damn it, I'm gonna have to defend. But any other, I'm not coming up with no plans. Oh, I'm scheming. Oh, oh, I'm gonna go slash Tina ties out. Oh, Reggie, Reggie, I'm gonna throw a brick through his window. I wish I would, family. I wish I would have that much control from another person on my life to where I'm, I'm thinking about them and I'm, then I'm thinking about doing something to them, family. That's that's too much right there. Whatever your God is going to do he going to do and he's going to enact his judgment but we're putting the place if we're willing to love our enemies if you seen your enemy on the other side of town brother would you try to help him sister if you seen your enemy on the other side of town and they was towed back and they jacked up and they needed a little bit of help would you be there willing to give your your lending hand these are the enactments that we have to act now if we're able to love our enemies you know me, I tell you off top, family, see your enemies as you see yourself. Family, don't have no hate in your heart towards nobody like that. From the last time I checked, God, he made them and their judgment is on their head from their own, their own insurrection of their own attitudes and behaviors and, and goings on, right? So their, their judgment, if you're willing to care for those, to not hate on them, family, to not enact your own judgment on them, the Lord, he's going to put you in a place to condemn them people. Now, me, family, okay, now, God, he get the person. I look at them. They come in. They be checking. Oh, Jehovah says we good. Oh, Jehovah says everything all right. Oh, brother, good morning. They say all that stuff. It don't mean nothing to me because I don't hate that person. But God is over there tearing that man or that woman up. He's doing things to him. So I give I give them to the Lord. You could call it me giving them as a sacrifice to the Lord because vengeance is in this nature, family. He said that vengeance is his treasure chest of God had a storehouse of all his riches and all his gold and diamonds and emeralds your enemies would be inside of that treasure chest inside of his great vault locked away of something that means something to him for him for he that lives forever to enact his judgment upon your enemies is more worse than anything that a man can do i wouldn't even w wish that on my enemies to tell you the truth but they gonna have to see our lord family they be checking in on me. Oh, Jehovah. Oh, is we okay, brother? Israel, is we all right? You all right? Everything all okay? It's not on me. I don't wish nothing on that person. But in the background of the things that you don't see, your God attacking, your God ministering, your God enacting his judgment upon your enemies. If you're willing, my brothers. If you're willing, my sisters, to go about it the way, walking in mercy and having peace and having forgiveness for your enemies, your Lord, he will put you in a position to condemn your enemies. What does this mean? It's a, it's a, it's a point of judgment, family. It's a point of judgment where Jesus, he going, Yahshua, he's going to, he's going to put it in your hands. So I mean, that's like Yahshua walking you and your enemy to a cliff. And at the bottom of that cliff is nothing but sharks that ain't ate for a long time. And the, the person themselves, they don't have no power to stand. So you know your brother. I'm going to push them people into the uh, abyss, family. I'm going to push them over that damn cliff, family. I'm praying for it every single day. That's the most wonderful thing about it. Your Lord will put this power in your hands. But you have to be in long suffering and waiting until he puts you in the right position in your life to attack your enemies. Your God is going to do horrible things to your enemies if you're not... If you're you're willing not to take these things, these matters, these situations of consequences that these people have afflicted you with in your life. If you are willing to stand fast, family, to put your hands in your pocket, don't do nothing, family. God is going to be over there going upside your enemy's head, their finances. They, they, they physical, they emotion, they health. Every single thing about them will be attacked over you for that is God's treasure, family. Your Lord, if you're still willing to walk this path, family, 
If you're willing to go in it the way that God is asking you to go about, you receive the reward by the condemnation that that the Lord, he, the, our master family, he will put it in your hands to, to condemn all of your enemies, family, all of them, every single last one of them, family. You got your father attacking them. And then for the final KO blow, your master is going to set you up to condemn that person. But it takes time. It, it's not going to happen overnight, family. It's not family, that judgment that that person put on on their own head by inflicting you, brother, by inflicting you in your life. So if you're willing to wait, if you're willing to show forth love, if you're willing to help family, look what he said, family, if you've seen your enemy, that's why I'm asking you. If you've seen your enemy on the other side of town and they was jacked up and they was towed up and they needed help, would you help your enemy? I would, family. I wouldn't want to, family. I wouldn't. I'll tell you that right now. I wouldn't want to, but I would still have to for when the Lord places them in my hands, family, for that judgment. I'm not going to sit up here and be like, oh, faint, oh, faint of heart. Oh, oh, I feel sorry. I'm so remorseful. I forgive him. I forgave him a long time ago. But when it's time for them to be judged and my my master he places the judgment in my hands to condemn the next person for the things that they have done to me oh you already know what's going down family so this has been the word for this day peace my brothers peace my sisters fall upon you in this day all glory given to yah for he is the only one who is worthy